Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's show. Welcome to Advocate Information Highway. I'm your host, Anthony Laredo Duke. And uh, I want to take this time to uh, tell everybody that's living in the Northeast, uh, I hope everybody's safe because of the bad weather from the tropical storm that is hitting the Northeast right now. So please, all of my fans out there that live in the Northeast, section of the United States, hope everybody's safe. Now, we have a great topic for today's show, in which it is, first it was rioters destroying monuments, etc. Now it's white supremacists destroying Black Lives Matter murals. Now, I just got done hosting my show, Disabled Reality, on Spreaker.com, and we were discussing the same topic there, and I wanted to continue it into this show because it's a really important thing. And, and I said this in prior episodes that uh, like when the rioters were destroying monuments uh, and, and doing all the bad graffiti and then stuff like that, when they were destroying things, I was completely against that, okay, and hoping for any of our elected officials who actually listen or and or watch my shows, I hope this gets through to them and that these things cannot be tolerated. Now, you got white supremacists destroying Black Lives Matter murals, okay, and that's got to stop too. That's just as bad. Both sides have got to stop their nonsense, okay? And people will keep saying, well, it's these protesters that started it. No. First of all, I say this to them. When you're saying protesters, that's not the, that's not the correct title. Peaceful protesters are not the ones destroying monuments and stuff like that. The ones that are destroying things are rioters. That's not what peaceful protesters are, Okay. That's number one. Number two, I've been completely against those rioters, what they were doing. And everyone knows that. Anyone who's been listening and watching my episodes knows that. Now, just as much as I blame those rioters for what they do or did or whatever, I blame these white supremacists for what they're doing. These murals are for a sign of peace. And it's a sign for... Uh, Fighting for equality, okay? And it's a, it's a sign for stopping the nonsense. And uh, things to things really need to progress even more now, okay? And so that and that's that's what these murals are about, okay? It's not just to show words on a street or whatever. No. Now you got these white supremacists that are going out and destroying these murals. First of all, people that are, are, are that are doing these murals, they're doing it with the permission of the local elected officials, okay? That's number one, so these are being done the right way. And these are peaceful ways of doing things, okay? Like the peaceful marches that, pe that people were doing, okay? These are peaceful ways of doing things. This is not destroying things, all right? Now, these white supremacists that are going around destroying these murals, listen, if you don't like what you're looking at, don't look at it. If you don't like what you're listening to, then don't listen to it. Keep moving along. Just like what I was saying about what, the, what those rioters were doing. I said the same thing about that. This, this goes underneath the same umbrella. It, this nonsense has got to stop. It's got to stop. Okay? And we need to progress now. We need to move along in life. We've got enough problems already as is. Do we really need more? No. So come on, stop destroying things. Okay, first of all, destroying uh, these vandalisms, these, these destroying things, are illegal, first of all, okay, and eventually they're going to get caught. And second of all, I mean, if you if you want something removed, like statues or murals or whatever, the legal right way of going about it is going to your 
local elected officials, the proper ones, and request for them to have these items removed. And once, and then what happens is, once that request is put in, these elected officials, okay, get together with whomever. Uh, a, a voting gets done between uh, within them, and to see if it gets approved or not for these items to be removed. That's the legal right way of going about things, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, it's all illegal. And it's enough with the nonsense now. It's enough. I know times are tough right now. I understand that. I know in areas there's lockdowns and people are, are getting cabin fever. And I understand that. But it does not give anybody the, the right to vandalize, loot, destroy things. It doesn't give anybody that right. Uh, okay? So this nonsense has to stop. Bottom line. And like I said, you're going to get caught. These people that are destroying things illegally, they're going to get caught. And they're not going to like the end result. And they're going, to, they're going to cry like little babies when they get caught. And when they do get caught, when they do get brought to justice, to uh, justice, these judges need to say, uh, the crime is not going to help you. Too bad. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Seriously. And these judges need to be strict on these people as well. Enough. We're trying to hamper them and say, oh, poor baby. No. They did the crime. They can do the time. Point blank. So that's just my opinion. And uh, I want to remind everybody about my business, my website, which is Advocate Information Highway. And the link in there is awldny.com. You guys can check out all the pages on there. Uh, please go to the donations page of the website. And whatever amount of money you can donate is greatly appreciated. Again, you guys could check the check out the newspapers page on the website, the shows page, the blog page, the store page. And again, on the store page of the website, there's three sections. First section, you'll see the link to my internet store on Zazzle, in which I designed a lot of products and they were for sale on there, so you guys can shop your heart's content. In the second section, you'll see the links to both books that I wrote, in which the first book that I wrote is called Let's Talk About It. The second book that I wrote is called Let's Talk About It More. You'll see the links to where you can take a sneak peek into each book, and you'll see the link to where you can purchase both books as well. And in the third section of the store page of the website, you'll see the link to the website that my husband and I have together called oddsandends.com. That's O-D-D-Z like zebra, N like Nancy, E-N-D-S.com. And again, you guys can shop to your heart's content. And please... All my fans out there that are listening and watching my shows here on my YouTube channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That's greatly appreciated. And I hope to speak to everybody again next week when I host my shows on uh, Spreaker.com. On Thursday, I host my show, Equality and Rights for All, on Spreaker.com. And on Friday, I host my show, Disabled Reality, on Spreaker.com. And after each show that I host on Thursday and Friday. I host another episode of this show, Advocate Information Highway, here on YouTube. So once I'm done hosting my show, my episode on Equality and Rights for All on Thursday, I host an episode of this show, Advocate Information Highway, right after that. And then again on Friday, when I'm done hosting my uh, an episode of my show, Disabled Reality, on Spreaker.com, I host another episode of this show, Advocate Information Highway, right here on YouTube. So with that, again, um, I wish everybody to be safe in the Northeast of the United States. And so with that, take care, everybody. Bye.